Hurricane Irma boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a Hurricane Damage Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? So right now I'm in the starboard forward cabin bathroom and I'm looking at the chain plate here and um, there was an impact here which, which pushed a few of these, these stringers off the wall um, and put a little crack in the chain plate. So we've ground out the crack completely and we're going to reinforce this entire chain plate area. So we're going to make it much, much better than it was. We're going to, again, we're going to use epoxy because we're on the inside and we don't need to put gel coat over it. And we're going to um, make a much bigger chain plate area inside here. We're going to bring it down on an angle both ways. So we're going to have a big triangular pad instead of this little square pad that they have at the moment, which is really the bare minimum, I'd say. And then once that's done, we're going to just re-tab these stringers back on here and then we'll be done. So this will be a big moment to get this all the grinding and, and glassing on the inside done. So to re-tab this and we're going to put a nice big fillet in the corner here and then we'll put epoxy from here, two layers of woven roving right back to here. And again, this will also be much stronger than it originally was. Same on that side over there. And then there's one more stringer that can't, goes here that we pulled out to uh, glass this. Once this is glassed, we'll put this stringer back in and tab it back in there. Similar issue happening here. Um, we've got a minor crack happening in the bottom of this chain plate. So we're going to, um, I'm actually going to remove the stringer. I'm just going to use the multi-tool and cut right down that, um, that tabbing there and uh, bring this stringer out so that we can really have a look at what's going around, uh, going on around this um, chain plate. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to grind out a diagonal um, angle on each side and put a big triangular chain plate and linked back to the actual hull of the boat back here. Okay guys, that's really good news. The crack that we were seeing on the chain plate was just the tabbing to the stringer. So I'm glad we got all that out though. We could just put a, because we're gonna do a bigger, better chain plate anyway. So the actual chain plate itself is, looks fine. So that's good news. We've been kind of avoiding this for a little while because grinding inside sucks. It's all dusty and hot and sweaty. Um, but yeah, a little bit of drizzly weather motivated us to come inside. And uh, we've got nothing but good news this morning, so let's hope that continues. guys three solid layers of the thick woven roving glass um, 
just has put a huge epoxy plate on here. So now we can put the stringer back in, tab it back into the hull, right down, um, tab these ones in that had the damaged tabbing, and uh, this repair will be done. That looks excellent. Let's go check the other side. Okay. Excellent. This is so solid. This is going absolutely nowhere. Okay, we're good. That's so tidy. If I may say so myself. Alrighty, all the fillets are in. Really happy with how they turned out. This tool was amazing. I know it's for uh, cooking and baking, but uh, it did the trick perfectly. So now we've just got to wait for that to cure. And then we can glass. Tab this in and then we're done. This will be all the inside glass work done. All right, guys, all our fillets are nice and dry. They're looking really good. We just scuffed them up lightly with some sandpaper. All of our bits of glass are here, ready to go. We've got the, uh, the wetting out station here. So Jamie's just wet out the first one. We're gonna run down there and just start tabbing these walls in. Yeah, boys. Alright guys, we're just going to rip the peel ply off the inside now. So solid. This is what I want to do in Parlay is instead of all the um, that bonding paste that they use on the lagoons, just get all that shit out and use epoxy tabbed in like that. So strong. Beautiful. Look how solid this chain plate looks now. We've tied it right back to here, back to the hull. It was just a square here. So we ground out all the bad bits and then glass right out to here. And, uh, and then we tabbed this stringer back over that as well. So this is so strong. Just got it from the outside, I'm gonna drill the holes and then we can put the chain plate back in. Um, all this is reinforced up here as well. So this is stronger than when it came out of the factory. Morning everyone, we've got something super exciting today. We uh, have been messaged by some people on Instagram um, called Monkey Business Fishing and they've offered to take us fishing for the day. So we're taking the day off. Morning! Morning. How you guys? Yeah. How's it going John? John? Good to meet you. Nice to meet you finally. Yeah. We're gonna try to get you on a sailfish or some kings or something. Ah, yeah, that we're if, talking. If we struggle, we go to the backup. We'll put you on the bottom. Get yeah, right. Noise. At least get dinner, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, what? What do you, so you guys? A, a charter fishing boat? Or what, what? What? So we just do tournament fishing. Yeah. And then we do promotional work for Tito's. Okay. So we run this boat all over. Austin actually runs a charter boat out of sailfish. So, so who owns this boat? I do. You. This is your yeah. personal boat. Yeah. Nice one, what kind of boat is it? So this is a 34 Streamline. This yeah. is the very first one. We just right. took delivery of it a month ago. No um, way. You guys will be the third trip on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out and have some fun. Awesome. Yeah. You excited, Jamie? Yes, very excited. So How many fish you reckon? I don't know, we're going after sailfish, so if I catch one of them, that's one of my dream fish. I think there's three things that make <laughs> Jamie happy. Beer, fishing, and girls. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, we're just lacking one. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, guys. How are you doing? Uh, we're doing? Give me a dozen gogs and a scoop of filters. So when we fish a tournament, 
if we don't have a chance to catch Maeve, we'll spend almost a thousand dollars to get the return. Really? It's ridiculous. I think we're about to go fast. Everybody ready? Stuff? John? So we're going to look for, let's see if we can find some bait. We're marking a little bit on the bottom here. We're about 140 feet. We're going to put the kite in. We can kind of make up for the fact that we don't have enough wind by kind of driving into it. So it keeps the bait at the surface. Keeps that wire and all those hooks. All that stuff's up in top of the fish, so you can't the, the, the predator fish can't see it. So they don't see they don't see the leader and all that. You know, if we just throw a bait off the side, you've got you know 20 feet of line, 15 feet of leader, three feet of wire. So this keeps the bait up top, and it, you'll see when the bait's swimming, it's just struggling. It's just ringing the dinner bell. Okay. Bitches, huh? Something just happened. Got really nervous for a second. Is it the work? Backing like the right one. It is a sailfish. Sailfish. Alright, back off the drag just a little bit, John. Yeah. That rod said, Timmy, buddy, feed the rod. Squeeze your left. There you go. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to follow your fish. I, he was tip wrapped. <laughs> and I snap swivel was open, no and, and, and the leader's in my hand. I was like, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" <laughs> First selfish ever. <laughs> That's bucket list done. Still in one hand. You want to just put now it's Canton. Okay, I'll help him put him back. Yeah. There you go. Like he 
fish. What? Wow. That's a good one right there, guys. That's a real good one. That's not large. That's one of the tastiest fish in the ocean right there. Oh, right. well, yeah, man. Good job. It's a mutton. That's a mud snapper. See you later. Sweet. Dinner, boys and girls. Nice. Thanks, man. <gasps> Reverse. Hold that rod for me at all times, please. Yeah. Might come off. It's still really green. <laughs> Thank you so much, John, and Monkey yeah. Business Fishing. Such a such an honor to be able to go out with you guys and just watch the professionalism. I mean, that's one thing that we're lacking on Parlay is that oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Expert, <laughs> expert fisherman experience. And, uh, but we'll get there. We still do very well. Like, make no mistake, we catch some good mahi-mahi, we get some good tuna, but to... Uh, See the level that these guys fish at is just another dimension. John's already invited us over for dinner and drinks at the bar and stuff, so we'll be seeing a lot more of him. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, Instagram, for putting us in contact. With yeah. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It still blows my mind that this kind of stuff happens, but there you go. I reckon I got the biggest for sure. <laughs> for sure. Huh? No, I've only got photos. Oh, hey. Somebody's gotta go swimming. What happened? First fish, first sailfish, both of you. What that Seriously, mean? it's a tradition. Yeah, yeah. Hold <laughs> on, let me get the ladder out. Oh, yay! <laughs> Without thinking. So I guess we're going in. <laughs> <laughs> well done, guys. Oh. Oh. Like it's nice and clear right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here. Oh. 